And it may be true the dead can't dance, but these zombies certainly know how to move their feet. And while minutes, Quita. Thanks, George. Now, you know Austin has become a favorite of Hollywood. Plenty of big films have been shot around town, and the local independent movie scene is also alive and well. Well, even for one zombie flick that's taking over Austin. Joining us this morning is Dan Eggleston and Hannah Harden to tell us more about Z, a zombie musical. And you know, I just have to say up front, this is the strangest get up <laughs> I've seen in a long time. What do you mean? <laughs> But no. you look good. You look Thank great. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Dan, you're a retired teacher, and you're also a very important part of Austin's film industry. Tell us a little bit about that. I run a uh, user group on uh, Yahoo Groups called Austin Film Casting. And I've run it since Miss Congeniality when I worked as an extra. And I started it then. There were 200 uh, extras on the set every day. And they wanted to know. Uh, I was actually working on another film called Pageant, very low budget. And uh, we hadn't finished, so I was saying, would you like to get casting calls by email? And it was actually your producer's roommate was making a film, and I had a hard time finding where that information was. And the list is now 6,000 members strong, one of the biggest lists in the nation. Very cool. And yeah. I, I know that you guys are also a big part of Z Zombies the Musical. Tell us a little bit about that, because, you know, zombies, <laughs> musicals, doesn't quite strike me as a, a interest. Well, it is an interesting mix. Oh yes, it's very interesting. Uh, well, pretty much it's about zombies, and of course it's a musical. So, um, and it's very funny. But this world of zombies isn't your, you know, normal zombie world in that we don't attack people and eat people. That's good or to we hear. Eat people, but it's <laughs> not like you know vicious sort of attack. But it follows my story pretty much from a nun, completely normal, into a zombie. <laughs> and it's about learning to accept myself for who I've become. So that's like the core story. And I've got, you know, my two sister nuns who also follow this journey. But I'm and not there's happy dancing. Then. And then there's <laughs> dancing. And there's As you can see from the clip we have here. There you go. Yeah. Well, how <laughs> difficult is it to make a movie like this? It's Quite a lot difficult. of work. Yeah, uh, you talked about dancing. Our choreographer, Amy Jordan, had to train the dancers. She had the choreography all worked out, but she had to train the dancers the day of that shoot. Oh, and wow. she's just amazing. I wanted to have her here today, but she's sick in bed with the flu. Oh. And our director wanted to be here today, but he's trying to get edited so we can get in the Austin Film Festival. So he was editing till about 5 a.m. And he's got close to an hour edited. Usually most films, you shoot the entire film, then you start the editing process, which right. can take up to six months. But he started editing, actually, Christmas Vacation. He had a chance to go to New York during Christmas Vacation, all expenses paid, and he stayed home and edited the footage that you've just been seeing, which is our big song and dance number. Very cool. So he's got close to an hour edited. It's going to be about an 85-minute film, so we're pretty close. It Wonderful. Great. And we're going to I was going to say, I can't you know, wait to see it. Yeah, we're going to finish shooting in a couple of weeks uh, in mid July. So, after a long process, we actually started June 25th a year ago. But because we're low budget, it's been weekends, and there have been times when it's been difficult to schedule. I don't know if you had the Dale Watson cut in there, but it took seven times to reschedule that scene. And he wasn't originally available. And luckily, the weekend we needed him, he was available that day, so we got him in the film. And he's on the road all the time. I talked to him yesterday. He still hadn't seen the footage. Oh, my. But uh, Joe King Carras goes in, and we've got a great lineup of talent. Yeah, I was going to say, I know yeah. you guys have some great cameos in yeah, there. Yeah, this evening we're shooting a cameo with Mark Zupan, who's the star of Murderball, which is a documentary nominated for Best Oscar about the wheelchair athletes. Right. And he is going to stop our, wheel ch uh, rather our roller skating villains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you've seen the movie. Well, this is going to be an interesting movie, and I definitely can't wait to see it. And thank you all so much oh, for being with thank us. It's a pleasure. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. And for more information on a zombie musical, and you know you want more information, you can check out kv.com and click on the web link section. And we will be right back.